Hello, in this series of videos, I want to go over uh, worksheet 10.3. So we're looking at Markov chains. And we talked a little bit um, on 10.2 about absorbing Markov chains. So I need to figure out the absorbing states of this um, transition matrix. So what I'm going to do is draw the graph. I'm going to draw state A, state B, state C, state D. And then notice right here, don't forget we're looking at, we're going to go from each row to each column. So when we set this up, that first row says A maps or everything transitions from A to itself, and that one is 100% probability. I'm going to look now at the second row, and B State B moves from state B to state A with a 15% probability. State B stays with state B at a 70% probability. B goes from uh, B to C with a 10% probability. And B goes to state D. And in this case, that's going to be with a 0.05% probability. Now I'm going to look at the row that involves C and notice C um, maps 2A at a 5% probability. C maps back 2B with a uh, 1 or sorry 10% probability. C uh, maps to itself or stays in state C with a 75% probability, and then state C moves to state D with a 10% probability. And lastly, if we look at the, the bottom row, D does not go to A, B, or C. In fact, if you're in state D, you stay exactly in state D. So when we look at this, the absorbing states in this case are A. Imagine if there's a population or people. If you get to state A, you're stuck. You're staying in state A. And also state D is an absorption state. Okay, so we're going to now um, rewrite this matrix, transition matrix. On the upper left side, we're going to write down the absorbing states. And uh, it actually, in general, doesn't really matter. I'm going to do A, D, and then B, C. And then A, B, sorry, A, D, B, C. And I'm going to fill in this matrix. I'm essentially just rearranging the matrix, but I want to make sure uh, I'm careful here. A goes to A at 100%. It doesn't go anywhere else. And D goes to itself at 100%. It doesn't go anywhere else. B, on the other hand, I'm going to be careful, B maps to A at a 0.15% probability. B moves from B to D at a 0 0.05. B stays in state B with 70% probability. And B could also move to state C at 10%. And don't forget the quick check. I should be able to add these numbers, 15, 20, 90, 100 to get 100%. And state C moves to state A at a 0.05. C moves to state D at point 0.1. C goes to B at point 0.1. And C stays in state C, excuse me, at point 0.25. All right. Okay, so on page 604, there's a lot of description, there's a lot of definition and um, theorems in 10.3. So it seems pretty dense at first, but this is one reason I'm giving you a lot of uh, note sheets for the exam, to write some of this in your note sheet. All 
right? So what we're going to do is essentially split this up into the absorbing states be right here and then also have non absorbing states right here non absorbing and we end up getting let's scoot this up a little bit so at this bottom right and again again don't worry about memorizing this Reference page uh, 604 in chapter 10.3. Write this down in your own notes. This bottom matrix, we're going to call this S. So S is 0 0.15, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.1. There's matrix S. And this other matrix on the bottom. That's called Q. We're going to call that Q matrix. So that is 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.25. All right, so that's Q. And the fundamental matrix, again, don't worry about memorizing this. Give yourself some good notes. Copy this down on your uh, note sheet for the test. This fundamental matrix. T, the formula for this is we're going to take the identity matrix minus Q, I'm going to put parentheses around there, and then compute the inverse of that matrix. So this is the formula. Now I'd write this down on a page of notes. Computing it, the identity matrix, and Q is a 2 by 2 matrix, so it's 1, 0, 0, 1 minus Q, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.25. And take the inverse of that. So 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3. 0 minus 0.1 is 0 0.1. 0, oh, sorry, this should be a minus 0 0.1. 0 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1. And 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. And then compute the inverse. I'm going to suggest you use a technology calculator on uh, the matrix website. But if you plug that in your calculator, we're going to round this because it's uh, you get a strange denominator. And if you compute this, that ends up being 3.846. And then the next entry would be 1.538. And then the bottom entry will be 4.615. And then, oh, excuse me, that's 4.615. And this entry over here, then this calculator is 1.538. All right, now I want to add one thing onto this. I'm going to recopy this here. and give myself some space, 3.846, 1.538, and 4.615. Okay, so if we look at the reference for this, right here, going back to the rewritten matrix, I'm going to correspond this T with this Q right here. So I'm going to add some labels. We're, we're just we're kind of manipulating this matrix too. So the labels for that are B, C, right here for the two columns, and for the two or sorry, excuse me, the two rows for the two columns. It's also B and C. So I'm going to label these columns B and C. All right, and in the, the next video, we're going to use uh, matrix T and look back at S and T to answer questions about probability and expected value.